It's hard, it's hard to be a beginner in this hobby. No, every, you know what? Everyone was a beginner. I'm packing up to go to a star party. It's about a four hour drive, Cherry Springs State Park, and I am way behind. I need to leave now. I gotta pack up quickly, but I don't wanna forget anything. It's a bit frantic right now. I just wanna make sure I have everything. Uh, it's gonna get really cold tonight, probably down below 10 degrees Celsius. So I'm staying in an RV with some friends tonight, but uh, if it's too cramped in there, I'm gonna sleep in the car. I brought a little mattress in my sleeping bag. I just wanna make sure I have everything for every possible scenario tonight. The forecast looks great, which is really unbelievable. About to hit the road now, running late. Uh, I've got Cherry Springs State Park plugged into my GPS from the last time I was there in the end of May. I stopped at the corner store for some double A batteries for the Star Adventure Pro just in case. Got some water, got my passport, crossing the border. Hopefully that goes fast, never does. Uh, here we go. <laughs> actually a really fun drive it was just me listening to some uh, prime country on satellite radio some Willie Nelson and uh, it's a beautiful day out here it feels like the middle of summer you wouldn't know that this is a fall star party hmm yo, yo. What up? what's up How's it, going, man? it is packed out here it is really packed. I've never seen so many cars I know it's crazy last night was gorgeous so a lot of people showed up <laughs> <laughs> I'm with Adam here. He's a big fan of the ASI Air. I just, it's easy. To me, if it makes my life easier doing this hobby, then that's what I gravitate towards. And uh, connected to the Wi Fi, and everything just worked. Having used SGP and Backyard EOS in the past, everything just made sense. Like you're not a crazy technical guy. Nope. You're, you're, you're good nope. with computers. Yeah, I, most I'm, of us are, right? I'm average. But you're not a software engineer. Nope, nope. So, Adam went on and on about how much he loved the ASI Air last time when I saw him last few months ago. And I didn't include it in the video because it really sounded like he's just you know <laughs> trying to sell it. He's still using it and loves it. And uh, I feel like this is valuable because a lot of you ask me about the ASI Air and what I think of it. And I totally agree. The only reason I haven't used it more is because I'm at home and I've got something previously set up. My laptop's right there. But I mean, it's a great option for a lot of people. I couldn't agree more. And the price point, I think, you know, again, oh, they're, not to- they're giving them away. They're, they're giving them away. They really, you have three. Really yeah, I have three of them. Yes, I have one for each of my rigs. And if I ever get a fourth, I'll probably get a fourth one. All right, we are here. We are set up. We have talked to friends. We have met some familiar faces. And uh, I feel a lot more comfortable. <laughs> the rigs are set up. It's like uh, until everything is all ready to go for nightfall, I can't, I can't be comfortable. I got to see the uh, the RV that I have the opportunity to sleep in tonight. Very cozy in there. Super Nintendo, 32-inch uh, TV, so you know, not exactly roughing it. So this is where I'm doing my talk tomorrow. I wonder if there will be this many people filling these seats to see me talk up there. One thing's for sure, I'm gonna be uh, a little groggy doing the talk. I'm gonna be up until about five in the morning and uh, my talk is at 2.30. Hopefully all goes well. As always, there are some really incredible rigs set up here. I am looking at just a cluster of Celestron SCTs. Holy smokes, there's one, two, three, four of them right there. You find these groups of guys that all uh, use the same kind of stuff. Massive daubs everywhere. So the biggest one, from what I hear, is a 32 inch. And uh, I'll be taking a peek through that later. Better get back to the squad. Red Cat Alley, as we're calling it, there's, I think there's three or four Red Cats set up in our area, myself included. If you're on this side of the Meridian, obviously 
I thought there were four red cats. Are there only three? I think there's only three. Yeah. Three only cats. Three. Only three cats. Have you walked around and looked at some of these setups? Yeah, it's pretty wild, isn't it? You would think that these are themed setups based on brand because honestly, I was over there. It was all Celestron SCTs and Rasas. Mm -hmm. You go over here, it's all red cats and refractors. And you go down And it's there, all Dobbs. Valley of the Dobbs over there. Valley of the Dobbs. Yep. <laughs> I see some safety rings on my tripod. Uh, how many did you bring? Uh, I brought like three cases. Just, just wait until uh, it gets a little darker and everything really starts to pop. So, it's, not just, it's not just the tripod bottom, it's also the electrical. I wanted to ask you if you think that you have, if this mount can handle the red cap, because I mean, you're pushing the payload capacity a little bit. I, 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 this is an Atlas, right? <laughs> this is You've got Atlas. a full like three and a half pounds on it. Three and a half, maybe, maybe <laughs> four pounds with the ASI Air and the well, guns. Well, he puts going. a saddle on it so he can <laughs> sit on it. This is a classic case of over mounting yes, right here. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. I, it's, it's over um, it's setting. like Prince Edward Island right now. In case you wanted to know what I actually brought here, well I got the chance because it's about to get very dark out here. Familiar looking combo, the Esprit 100 and the EQ6R. And then the new guy in the block, the Skywatcher Star Adventurer Pro, and of course the Red Cat. Wide field broadband is what you shoot at a place like this. I'm hoping that these well, clouds dissipate, but uh, fingers are crossed. Red light only policy, no white lights at a star party. Out of respect for the visual observers, uh, it's time to polar align and uh, get things going. Hey! Wow. What's up, man? This is the red light district, <laughs> aka the mobile command unit. Look at Not this. Red light it's a little bigger than your tablet, eh? <laughs> Somewhere in there is a oh, lobster wow. claw. There's a lobster claw in there, right? Eh? Somewhere. Somewhere, right. This is what we did yesterday. Nice. Cave. Yeah, oh, you recognize it. Caldwell 9. <laughs> so, what were you shooting that on? Uh, on the ED 102. We are stacking in Deep Sky Stacker. I don't I feel like I see something right in the center. Yeah. Wow, it is toasty in here. This is a 10 second really high ISO. Oh, very I'm just nice. Yeah. Framing it up, and it looks like it's going to be dead center. Dead center is good. So we'll start shooting that. Uh, two minute subs, try and get a couple hours on it. <laughs> 